Hi everybody. All right. So, uh, I wanted to make a semi-short video. I don't know how long I'm gonna go, as usual. I just wanted to uh, get something out of the way regarding uh, something I, I mentioned on my latest video about sound mapping. Now let's take a look at the vowel chart for so-called general American. As you can see, we have the seat vowel, sit vowel, pet vowel, cat vowel, um, nurse vowel, the schwa, which is only found in unstressed syllables, like for example in the man, the are colored schwa, this vowel is are colored too, hence the little thingy right there, representing the are coloration. Only found in unstressed, the, the or colored schwa is only found in unstressed vowels, like uh, for example, father, the er at the end. And then the back vowels, which is what I want to talk about. We have the pool vowel, put vowel, duck vowel, uh, not vowel, and uh, father vowel, or far, etc. Now, as I mentioned, uh, these vowel uh, phonemes, now, the ones that are underlined are distinguished by being rounded, right? And let's take a look at just, let's take a look at just the back vowels. If we take a look at this, we have an extra vowel uh, phonemic unit here, phoneme, uh, which is present in uh, Southern English English. You'll notice I say English English instead of British English. I like to be precise. Uh, there's no such thing as British English. So when I say Southern English English, I mean the English spoken in the South of England. So I hope you'll humor me. So in Southern English English, and I believe specifically in so-called received pronunciation or BBC accent, or standard British, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, if you turn the BBC on, this is the way they, these people are speaking. They have an extra vowel phoneme. So if you take a look at the qualities of these, you have pool, put, duck, not, far, and you also have this one, which is uh, in, in uh, received pronunciation or RP, is uh, found in the word lot. The word lot in general American sounds just like the word, uh, for example, um, father, father, lot, you know, same vowel. But in, uh, in received pronunciation, uh, this corresponds to father. Of course, RP is non-rhotic, so I'm dropping the R. Father, and it's a little longer, but it's that same quality, father, and this for Lot, lot, lot. It's rounded, lot. A rounded vowel instead. Father is unrounded, lot is rounded. So, uh, I learned this when I went to, uh, to elementary school uh, and uh, high school. I had teachers that wanted to teach me receive pronunciation. Uh, in the end, they failed miserably because I completely Americanized my accent after the fact. But uh, they left me with a, a bit of a working knowledge in uh, RP and, and Southern English, English in general. So that turned out to be useful for my research and uh, my interests. You know, I, I like English and English dialects. So going back to this. So basically, if you take a look, we have uh, a set like in, in Southern English, English and in RP, we have a set of four. Uh, low back vowels, right? High vowels, low vowels, closed vowels, open vowels. We have two uh, mid-open vowels, two mid-open back vowels, and two open back vowels. One, one unrounded, one rounded. Duck unrounded, not rounded. Uh, father unrounded, and lot rounded. Now, because of successive mergers uh, of sounds of, of, of the sounds of certain words 
In American English, the lot uh, vowel uh, assimilated to the father vowel. So that in American English you say father, lot, same vowel. Right? Now, I mentioned that also in uh, certain uh, dialects or varieties of American English, um, the, the not uh, vowel had also merged with the father vowel. Uh, in such a way that in certain varieties of English, and this is especially true in the West, and in the West Coast specifically, uh, you'll hear people uh, say la instead of law, and so on. Now, uh, I said because of this reason, this phoneme, the, the aw sound, uh, does not exist in these dialects. Well, that's not exactly true, because if you count to four, you will notice that one, two, three, four uh, West Coast uh, people with West Coast accents also say four. They don't say far. That's a different word. So, as a result, we can see if we take a look at these uh, two words, and this is what linguists call uh, a minimal pair. Uh, this is a way to basically how do you prove that sounds are phonemic units or phonemes, significant units in a language. You put them in a word where they are the only sound that distinguishes the meaning of the words. And that, that's good proof to prove that the sound is a significant unit and not just a variation of a phonemic unit. Um, because sounds can vary a little, but if they vary too much and they start to mean something else, then maybe they constitute a different phonemic unit. That's the whole idea of phonemic units or phonemes. So, because of the minimal pair for far, we can consistently prove uh, something which any of you who are familiar with English and American English know, which is even if people from the West Coast pronounce law as la, um, basically with a variation of this phoneme and not with this phoneme, this this uh, uh, this not and and uh, and uh, law kind of, of sound that's more maybe more maybe it sounds more Midwestern to you. Uh, even if they do that. They do preserve this contrast and produce it, they pronounce it, before an R sound. So, for and far have uh, exonerated uh, Californians and other West Coasters from uh, uh, that overgeneralization I made on my previous video. Okay, that's it for uh, this little bit of uh, history and description of... Uh, low back uh, vowels in American English and uh, four versus far. Alright, so if you have any comments, please uh, leave them in the comments box and uh, again, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you guys soon.